All right, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, week 63. I'm out here today. Uh, sun is up, uh, a little bit later than yesterday's start. So uh, I got my coffee, I'm ready to go. And uh, today's just gonna be a pull workout. We're gonna hit it hard, we're gonna hit it deep. We're gonna go deep into the fatigue zone because daily is what we do this. We do this daily and when it's a quick workout and we're just really fatiguing our muscles really good and we're making gains. Gains are coming and you can see the gains I've made over the past year plus. So as long as you're consistent and getting out here every day and you're hitting it hard and you're taking it in the fatigue zone, you'll make gains. So let's go make some gains. Oh. Whew. 40. Whew. 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 Ah, grip always ready to go towards the end. Whew. Still working on it. All right, bent rows, supinated, light gray band, deep in the fatigue zone.
40 total. Those last few were really, really burning. Whew. All right, drag curls. I'm using the wide bar. I'm using my iron bull strength grips for a wider grip. And I'm going as wide as I can and I'm using the light gray band. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, those, those white grips really, rather than having your hands a bit farther apart and having your palms face up really works it. That whole combination, tighter grip, palms out a little bit, really getting that peak contraction with the pinky up as you hit that right about chest level. Oh my gosh. Oh. Whew. Get ready for some calves.
Oh. Oh, it's 60 total. Whew. 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 That's, that's finishing up with the calves. Whew. All right, all right that's it. I try something a little bit different today with calves. I've been trying something different almost every every time I do calves, just trying to find something that really works. I like that. What I did was I put the bar up on my shoulders with the light gray, and I put the little blocks under there to keep give me a little bit of tension on my calves. And then I grabbed a hold of the bar over there just to stable myself. I keep that bar across here so I can really concentrate on coming up onto my big toe. Really, really using the, oh, that big toe really makes those calves work when you're up on the big toe. When you're up on the outer, your outer toes just doesn't seem to work quite as much. When I'm coming up on my bigger toe, they seem to really burn and contract really hard. So I did 60 with the light gray. I think maybe next time I'll try the dark gray and see if I can get uh, a bigger burn out of it. I got a good burn on that, but I want to keep somewhere around 40, between 40 and 50 reps. Yeah, looks like the doggies next door see a squirrel. Yeah, chase squirrel. Uh, all right, so that was it for today. It was a, a good solid pull day. Started out with the black band deadlifts. I got 40. Tried to go as slow as I could, keeping that tension constant, and it felt really good. Uh, bent rows with the light gray. Really just wanted to sink into that that zone and just really pull them with your with your lats as much as possible. Try and keep the arms out as much as you can. Pull with the elbows back. Really contract the back as hard as you can. Curls, I went to a white grip today with the fat grips and really, really worked on just keeping that grip solid, man. It was really burning right down in here towards the end, just with that grip really making your, your grip work hard. And the grip is also part of your biceps. Your grip also is part of it. So work your grip. And then I finish off with the, with the calves, try in with the standing position, with the bar up on here, not having to worry about my balance by holding on to that bar and really contracting my calves as hard as I could. So that was today's workout. And today's workout is brought to you by Be Relaxed, my other YouTube channel, which today I'm featuring falling asleep on a ship at sea. It's an old ship. You hear the creaking sounds of the, the mast and the rope, and you hear the waves lapping up against the, against the ship. It's actually really, really calming. When I go to bed at night, I put the phone up on the headboard, and I turn it down low, I set the timer for about an hour and I just listen to the waves lapping and the ship creaking and I just right off into sleep. So if you need something to, to calm yourself down after a hard workout like this, put your headset on, go to Be Relaxed on my YouTube uh, channel and then type in one of those or put it, punch in one of those uh, soothing, relaxing sounds, thunderstorm, rain. I got another one I'm going to load up today. It's a uh, mountain rain, a beautiful view. Uh, while you're listening to the rain and the wind lashing through the mountains and it's looking at a nice beautiful lake so i'll be loading that one up later on today and we'll keep we'll we'll, we'll feature that one on the next workout so like i said be relaxed is my uh be relaxed meditation rejuvenation and sleep channel and i'll put a link up at the end here and i'll show you a little preview so that was it for today's workout and i'll see you back here uh, maybe thursday i think i'm gonna do some foam rollers on my leg and do some stretching and relaxation for tomorrow and get my legs prepared for thursday's all out double set killer front squat day peace out